Hello everyone. Welcome to a story a day and today we are listening to a story named The Superman and it's from a collection of stories written by the famous writer Sudha Murthy. So let's start. The men of Swarnanagiri were very lazy. They only liked to gossip and tell each other tall tales. As soon as the sun rose, the men would tuck into a hearty breakfast and start gathering in groups. Then they would spend the rest of the day telling each other impossible stories. They came back home only at lunch and dinner time. Suvarnanagari had fertile land all around it. And if the men had spent even a little time in the fields, they would have reaped wonderful crops. But as they did nothing, all responsibilities ended up on the shoulders of the women, who had to slave the whole day. They cooked, cleaned, sent the children to school, worked in the fields, took the crops to the market. In short, they did everything. One day, the tired woman got together and decided the men needed to be taught a lesson. Someone suggested writing to the king, who was known to be just and kind about their problem. So, a letter was written and sent off. The women went back to their work, but kept a sharp lookout to see if the king would send any help. But many days passed and slowly the women began to lose hope. After all, why would the king of such a vast empire be concerned about the ply of a few women in a tiny village like theirs? A month passed by and soon it was a full moon night. The men ate their dinners and because it was so beautiful and well lit outside, they gathered again to chat and boast. That night, they were trying to prove to one another that they were capable of performing the most impossible tasks. As they sat talking and stories flew around, a tall and handsome stranger joined them. Seeing his noble features and intelligent eyes, each man wanted to prove himself better than the others and impress him. One said, I knew the map of our kingdom even before I left my mother's womb. As soon as I was born, I ran to the capital and met the king. My mother had such trouble bringing me back home. Everyone was impressed with this story. But not to be outdone, a second man said, So what is so great about that? When I was just a day old, I could ride a horse. I sat on a big horse and rode all the way to the king's palace. He received me with a lot of love and we had the most delicious breakfast together. At the thought of food, everyone got dreamy-eyed and the story was greeted with a round of applause. Now a third man said, Huh, that's nothing. I sat on an elephant when I was a week old and had lunch with the king in his palace. Before the admiring murmurs could die down, a fourth one said, I was a month old when I flew like a bird and landed in the king's garden. He picked me up lovingly and even set me, let me sit with him on his throne. While everyone seemed to be awed by these stories, the stranger spoke up. Do you four men know the king very well? Of course we do, they replied together. Our king knows and loves us. In fact, he is proud to have supernatural beings like us in his kingdom. The stranger looked thoughtful. That makes my task so much easier. You see, I work in the king's court. Some time back, the king had called four supermen to the city in order to repair a large hole in the city walls. As you know, we use the largest, toughest stones for building these walls and they could be lifted and put in place only by these supermen. The four asked to be paid in gold bars and the king gave them the money. But that night itself they disappeared from the palace. 
I have been wandering the kingdom ever since looking for them. The king has ordered me to find the four men and bring them back to the capital to finish the work. They will also have to return the gold they ran away with. It looks like my search has finally ended. I will take you four to the king along with the gold you stole from him and I shall be the rich one now. By the time the stranger finished telling this amazing story, the men's faces had turned ashen. What trouble had their lies landed them in? Together, they dived at the strangest stranger's feet. Save us, they wailed. Those were all lies. We are just a bunch of lazy men. If you forgot, forget our stories, we promise to stop telling lies and do some honest work. The stranger smiled. So be it. I will tell the king there are no supermen in this village, only hard-working ordinary men and women. That night itself he left the village and the women were sure they saw a happy twinkle in his eyes as he rode away on a handsome white horse fit to belong to the king's stables. Okay, so that means the king do came there but in disguise. Yes, and he did help the women of the village. What do you think? I think after that day, the men started working hard. Not the four, but all men started working because now they were scared that something bad can happen to them if they will not do the hard work. So they started working from the very next day. And as at the end of every story, we discuss about the moral. So the moral from the story we can get is that we should not be lazy and we should do our work ourselves. The more hard work we do, more successful and more happier will we will be. So that's all for today. I hope you like the story. Thanks for listening to it. And we'll meet again in another story. Bye-bye.